Hello guys, now I continue to study my simulation of the nozzle. Last time I simulated inviscid flow and generated some data over the surfaces. And now I would like to see how to make the average values to be able to compare them with analytical calculation. To do this we have two different methods. The first method which I show you is based on building of the lines, which are radial lines in different sections. And then we can calculate the average values along these lines and would be able to get the data for validation. First of all, I will create these lines. I already have initial line, which is inlet of my flow, and the final line, which is outlet of my flow. So I would like to have lines in the middle between inlet and outlet. First line I will name as line 1 will have the following coordinates. It will have 7 millimeters on X coordinate and on Y coordinate it will be from 0 to 12 millimeters. Create. Then, same way, I will generate another line. My second line will be 14 mm distance from origin. My third line will be exactly on the critical section. It's 28-23. And my fourth line will be on the supersonic part, 33 millimeters. My fifth line will be 37 millimeters. Okay, so I totally generated five lines. I would like to see now how they look like if they are all in the certain position. So for this I will visualize my mesh. I select inlet, all my lines here, outlet, wall and the symmetry. Now we can see these vertical lines are exactly the lines where I calculate my flow properties. Also, we can add one line here in the middle, since it's a missing part. Well, I will divide distance between these two lines. And we'll add this line into my calculation. This would be line 6. And with will have coordinates of approximately 22 millimeters. And now we also can visualize this line in the middle. Well, distribution is nice. I can now visualize the flow properties. I select all these lines and I would like, for example, to see distribution of static pressure. Since these are vertical lines, I need to select the Y coordinate as the plot direction. And now we are capable to see distribution of pressures for every line inside my nozzle. Same thing we can do for distribution of the other flow parameters like the velocity. Here we are capable to see how velocity changes in radial direction for every line created. Also for any other thermodynamic property. We might see that the properties of Temperature, they are not constant, especially in the critical section. 
temperature changes greatly. So we need to use the analysis tool and to get the average value. Now since we have these lines, I can calculate the surface integrals over these lines as average area weighted average computing here. We already can see all the distribution of the pressure in my lines, density, distribution of the temperature, and Mach number, for example, like this. Well, this is a very interesting tool, but it's quite limited. If you need more points, you need to create more lines. For example, could be interesting to have 50, 20, or even 100 different lines. And this is not very easy using this tool. A lot of work, right? So there is one special tool which is implemented in Ansys Fluent to uh, help us and to allow building of these lines and getting these average properties quite simple. First of all, we have to work with the console. I will type plot here and in the plot there are several operations. I see my operation of average uh, calculation of the average in the radial direction. I copy this command here. Next will be asked which parameters I would like to calculate. For example, I am interested to calculate the pressure. I copy name of this parameter here, paste. And then the surface on which I would like to do calculation. This surface is given in the boundary conditions. When we go to the interior surface body, this is the name which we have to copy. Paste. And the number of points which will be used for the calculation. For example, I want to calculate in 100 stations. 100 different stations from my inlet from the nozzle until the exit of the nozzle. Okay. Then it will take some time to calculate. And then program asks in which file name do you want to save this data? Pressure average text. Order points, yes. When you order points, all your x-coordinate points will be from zero until exit of the nozzle. If you do not order points, they can appear in different positions. Okay, this data is saved. I will open catalog of uh, my Fluent project where I will be able to see this data. So here I open at this file, which we have been saved. You can see variation of points in X coordinate from zero until end of my nozzle, which is approximately 44 millimeters. So here we will not see first point, which is inlet and the last point, which is outlet. And the second coordinate is the value of the pressure inside my nozzle. Quite simple, this data we can use inside MATLAB or Excel for the processing. So this is the second uh, way of visualization and analysis of this data, which after you can use for the validation by the analytical model and also which you will use to validate with the viscous flow. So here I probably generated all required data which I will need for the viscous flow. I will now save my data in some interpolation file and then I will use it as initial conditions for the viscous flow simulation. I go to interpolation, write data over my surface body, select all data 
and write into the file. Here I name it as interpolation 2000, for example. Okay. So at this point, at this moment, we are finishing the second part of study, and next time we will study how to make a viscous flow simulation inside the nozzle based on inviscid solution. Thank you for watching.